Hi, I'm Danielle with Godiva Secret Wigs, and today I'm here with my mom and the owner of Godiva Secret Wigs, Rochelle. Now, she came to me this morning and said she wanted to do a little something with her wig, so I said, wait, let's make a video. So here we are. Now tell me, what do you want? Yeah, so I love my Candace and Almond Spice, but it's starting to feel like too much hair. And I love all my wigs and my medium tops, but I love the top of this wig. So I want to turn a Candace into a medium top. It'll be exact, top, I mean a long top. It'll be exactly the color I want, but I don't need all this hair. Okay. So help! <laughs> so just so you guys know, you know, our top pieces don't come in every single color and they only come in, you know, their certain styles. So if you are a color that we don't offer or you like the style of one of our wigs, buy a wig and easily turn it into a top piece. Now we have another video that shows how to turn it into a top piece, but I'm going to do a quick one for you and we're going to try it on Rochelle and see how she likes it. Yay! So, she actually already has clips sewn into her wig, so I'm just going to leave those. And I'm going to put this on a head. If you don't have a head, borrow a friend. <laughs> so I'm going to first start by cutting a little less than I normally would. So our normal top pieces are just the shape of this horseshoe right here. But for her, I'm going to start and actually just cut it longer to give her a little more uh, length if she wants. Right. So I'm going to start Great. here. So I'm actually going to cut. And you want to make sure you're not cutting a ton of the hair. So I'm going to just cut away the elastic first just because we don't need it. And I'm going to cut here through the band. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut each of these connecting pieces all the way around. Again, making sure I don't cut the hair. So there's one. I'm excited. Let me stick a teeth in in her. And cut here. So I'm cutting her all the way around. And I can always use this bottom part. Yeah. So some clips in it. Exactly. And section my hair off and wear it under to give me more hair. So you actually can get two pieces, a top piece yeah. and a bottom piece. <laughs> and when you look at it like that, like you can spend more money, get a great wig you like in the style of the top, right? and you can do so many different things like this with it. So here is the bottom piece. Yeah. Here's the bottom piece that we cut out. So you could easily sew clips along the top and actually use this under some of your hair to add like. length. So you would clip it in right here, put your hair over, and get this extra length. Isn't that amazing? But, yeah. But what you really wanted. Oh, yes. So I have the two clips on the top. So if I was done, I would sew two clips at the bottom. But for time purposes, we're going to just have her try it just on the top. So this is what you have right now. You have basically the top, you know, three quarters of a wig. Go for it. <laughs> Get my hands on this one. So she's just going to try it as a top piece, but it's going to be longer than our, much more hair and longer than our normal long top because right. of the way I cut it. Right. So still here, a lot of hair. it's a lot. It's still long. Can we turn? Yes. So here, this is coming all the way down here, which is actually where her hair is. So this is the piece. So the piece okay. is going to here. So we have a lot of hair still. So this is really covering all of her hair, and it might be a little more than she wants, she'll have to tell me. It's more than I want. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to cut it again, and I'm going to cut it actually to the same U shape that our normal top pieces are, but the great thing is she's going to get the style of a canvas. Right, because all I need is that top, and it's so great too, Danielle, when my little gray roots are starting to yes. come out in holiday time. I can't get in to get my hair colored, and this is going to be perfect just to hide that little area. So I'm first cutting over here, here we go, and then I'm going to cut it all the way around that little piece. So I'm cutting it, so just where see where this thick band is before the weft start, that's what I'm cutting. And again, make sure you're not cutting the hair they're not going to have any hair on your top piece. And if there's little wefts attached, you just cut them right off. Right. Easy. And don't be afraid because it's not going to unravel. Nope. As you can see, I'm literally just, I just took a normal little pair of scissors and I'm cutting away. 
quick and easy. Mm -hmm. And the end. It's like I'm doing surgery. I know. I'm your assistant. <laughs> and my patient. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now, so now, here you see, it's like our, t our long top, but it's actually longer. And you have the inside, which is exactly like our long top. So now, if we had more time, I would sew two clips here at the bottom, but she can do that later. So let's try this on. I can't. Okay, let me give it a quick little brush. Yay! So I'm just leaving a little of my bangs. So it has that great cut and movement of, right. of Candace, but she just wants it for to cover her gray and give her a little extra volume and a little extra hair. So it's it's perfect. How's that? So one? now you can see. So now the wig is here. Scoot this way a little bit. So now the wig is coming all the way still down to here, but there's a lot less than the last time we did, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. So it's really. I mean, it looks great. I really like it. You know what I love too is I can still take it and twist it and put it up and it gives me all that height right up there that I yeah. like. So great honey. Mwah. So now you see how to turn a Candace and any wig into a custom top piece. It's that easy. Bye.